Fiorina Marquette has a huge rink to skate on during the winter. So this morning, Ansley Watson is there telling us more. Now, Ansley, we saw you take that little tumble, so hopefully you're okay. <laughs> Yeah, I only cut my finger open. It's fine. Took oh, one for no. the team, I, guess. I promise I do oh, no. know how to skate, but I guess it doesn't look like I do. So I'm here with Andrew McIver. He's the Parks and Rec coordinator, and maybe he can teach me how to skate a little bit better than what I could show earlier. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Absolutely. Good morning. So it's kind of chilly in here. Uh, what temperature is it at in here in the rinks? We're about 40, 42 degrees right now. Uh, you can kind of see my breath, it's a little humid, so that doesn't help. The weather outside has not been helping either. But yeah, sure. again, it is cold in here, uh, which actually is perfect conditions for ice. And then should people, I mean, obviously they should dress warm, right? What are some the good things people should wear when they come skating? Well, um, I mean, I, I tell people to wear pads. Uh, sometimes <laughs> I, it helps. Uh, less experienced skaters, uh, obviously dress in layers because it's cold, and also that helps with padding when you fall. Um, I, I sometimes recommend helmets too, but uh, for the <laughs> we might need to try that for myself sometime. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, also uh, when it comes to basic coming out and skating here, you can also bring your own skates too. We okay. do have rentals available. Uh, we also have skate training aids available too. <laughs> so if you want to give that a shot, um, but uh, for the most part, it, it's wearing like a nice heavy jacket, maybe some snow pants, just being prepared when you come out here. Right, right. So. Is there ice skating lessons that take place here as well? Yes, yeah, we have multiple uh, opportunities for that. Uh, Marquette Junior Hockey has a learn to skate program. Uh, they have a lot of excellent coaches. Uh, they have uh, a great curriculum for that. They also have Marquette Figure Skating Club, which has a lot of very experienced coaches. They know what they're doing. Uh, they have a couple of uh, basic opportunities that you can come out, have your kids get started. It's actually for all ages, really. So. Um, there's not too many other opportunities that I can think of really right now, but uh, I know that Marquette Junior Hockey, Marquette Figure Skating, and then of course just coming out for Open Skate 1 to 3 p.m. every day here on the Olsen, just giving it a whirl yourself. I was going to say, is there a certain age that's good to start getting into skating? Uh, well, the earlier the better. Um, I mean, as soon as you're learning to walk, if you can learn to walk, walk on the ice, you can start getting your balance, getting confidence on the ice, and then it only gets better from there. Um, I've been skating most of my life and uh, I can definitely tell it's, it's helped me quite a bit get comfortable on the mm -hmm. ice but then there's some people who obviously get started later and that is absolutely just fine if they just want to do it recreationally. Uh, it's a great way to uh, get out of the house, get away from the TV and the video games, come on out and try some ice skating um, plus also the experienced skaters too that can come out and enjoy just skating around the ice and it's just a great winter pastime. For sure. Uh, you guys have a couple of rinks here. What's the other one for? Uh, the Russell Arena, we're on the Olsen Arena right now, this is, uh, technically everyone calls it the smaller rink, which it's actually the same size as the other rink, uh, but the Russell Arena is a spectator venue, we have seating for up to 2,300 people in there, oh, wow. so uh, that's where our larger games happen for the Iron Rangers, the Royals, uh, the high school teams, some of the bigger high, uh, Marquette Junior Hockey games that we have, and we have a couple other uh, teams that come through quite a bit too. Okay, well stay with us. I think we're going to talk more about equipment here in a little bit. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson, TV6 News. All right, thank you very much, Ansley. He dropped a lot of hints about padding yes. and helmets. Yeah. And safety. yeah. She might have needed to know that before she went. Yeah, <laughs> right. It's okay, but she's okay, so yeah, that's good. She right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So now back. Well, if you're wanting to get on the ice this season, you can head down to Lakeview Arena. Ansley Watson is there this morning to tell us more about what all they have to offer. And Ansley, it looks like you've learned from your past mistakes there. Yes, they uh, hooked me up with a helmet, so just in case I <laughs> fell again, I wouldn't hurt myself, which I do want you to see. I took one for the team. I don't know if you can see this or not, but yeah. I got a nasty little bruise and cut there. Yeah, so yeah, you're I tough. think we need to get a Band-Aid on that one <laughs> soon. Yeah, so anyway, I'm joined with Andrew McIver, and he is a park and rec coordinator here. So thank you for being with me this morning. Absolutely. So let's talk about equipment since, you know, we've got all of this on right now. Got my safety helmet on. Is this just for hockey? Do figure skaters wear these too? Uh, figure skating doesn't really need helmets. Uh, usually those are a little bit more experienced skaters, but the beginners, we typically ask them to wear helmets. Uh, it, it, again, it's, it's liabilities kind of thing, so we kind of ask that for safety reasons that, you know, if you're not an experienced skater, maybe throw on a helmet. Um, in hockey player sense, we do require helmets, especially if there's pucks flying around. Mm -hmm. um, also, too, uh, just full equipment if you're going to come out for drop-in hockey, anything along those lines. Because uh, taking pucks to the uh, legs with no shin guards kind of hurts. So You would know, right? I would know, yes. So <laughs> So what do we have down here? What is this called? Uh, this is a skate aid. Uh, we got some of these this year for some of the beginners. Uh, these are pretty sturdy uh, uh, devices here that, uh, that are for rent. 
Uh, basically when you come out, the kids can use these to push them around, keep their balance, keep them from falling down, get them used to skating on the ice. Eventually, hopefully they can kind of wean off those and uh, learn to skate on their own. Yeah. Um, some adults can use them too. Um, it's a little entertaining watching, uh, trying to watch adults use them though. Hey, they're helpful, all right? They are, they are. <laughs> so, okay, so let's talk about our skates as well. Um, you have hockey skates on and I have figure skates, yep. skates on. What are the difference? So the difference is, is that the figure skates have a toe pick in the front. Uh, these are more for like a dancing kind of figure skating, where hockey skates are meant for all-purpose skating. There's also a difference in the angle of the blades. There's more of a curve on the hockey skate versus the figure skate, so it's a little easier to keep your balance on figure skates. Uh, for the hockey skates, these are meant for all-purpose skating, backwards, forwards, mm -hmm. changing direction quick. Um, so essentially when we're talking about open skate, generally the men like to wear the hockey skates, uh, but there's really no shame in wearing figure skates if need be to, to get started. Right. Um, so we have multiple sizes and rental skates available in hockey and figure skates, ranging from juniors up to adults. Uh, we will be trying to get some more very soon to try and uh, um, help out with uh, our quantities right now that we have we're, we're kind of running low on some sizes so uh, but we are uh, we do offer open skate every day from 1 to 3 p.m. here on this rink uh, during the weekends we're again 1 to 3 on Saturday and Sunday uh, that's cash only though um, during the weekdays Monday through Friday we have multiple other uh, uh, open skates that we do so we start in the morning with kind of a drop-in figure skating and then we go into a parent preschool and senior skate and then we do a drop in hockey at 11:30, and then we do open skate at one on this rink okay is there a website that people can go to to see the schedule for this yes they can go to www.mqtcty.org they can also go to the lakeview arena facebook page and check us out there we've got a lot of information a lot of updates because sometimes we have cancellations mm -hmm. because we have a lot of tournaments going on uh, we've got a couple other games that sometimes just kind of bump into the way of the open skates. So uh, we just encourage people to pay attention to those, kind of keep that in mind that there are some cancellations from time to time. But um, usually we do have some ice time available. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, we do have a couple of additions this year too. We do, we're starting a late night adult drop in hockey at 9.30 p.m. on Monday nights. And then also our senior skate that takes place at 7.30 p.m. just before that on Monday nights as well. And do you guys have season passes here? Yes, we do have season passes uh, with in our daily passes that we come in and you can skate per session. We do have season passes and punch cards. And right now, those are a great gift for Christmas. I would say that uh, they, they're a great deal. Um, the punch cards, basically you're getting six admissions for the, par for the price of five. Oh, wow. Um, and essentially it just basically means you come in, punch a card, and you're ready to go. So instead of having to go through the process of getting out your wallet and paying, or you just get a punch card and come right out. Season passes, you just show your card and come out, and it's a great deal. They pay themselves off very quick if you're a regular here. All right. Thank you so much, Andrew. This Absolutely. has been fun. Even though I have had to take a fall and bruise my finger, it was still a blast. Reporting live in Marquette, Ansley Watson. We'll be back with more of your TV6 Morning News after the break.